Well, today is shaping up to be one of the more controversial days in the Queen's reign. She's honouring the invitation to despotic African leader Maxwell Bugana to attend a state dinner at Buckingham Palace. Now, we can't make contact with our chief political correspondent in Zapoto at the moment, but to discuss this very thorny issue is our royal correspondent, <laughs> Terry Dublin. Um, <laughs> a lot of people are very angry at the Queen's decision. Do you think uh, she'll be aware? of the implications of having a leader of a murderous regime at the royal table? Well, I'm in no doubt that Her Majesty the Queen Elizabeth of the United Kingdom of these home nations, Queen Regnant of the Commonwealth realms, of course, will be aware of the magnitude of the implications, either fully, partially, wholly, <laughs> fractionally, totally, or perhaps, if you like, not at all. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, uh... <laughs> Let's move on to the banquet. Ordinarily, royal protocol would demand a minimum of seven courses, but there have been rumours of a reduced menu, which could be interpreted as a, well, so we say a slight towards Mr. Bagana. What's your view? Oh, well, a, a reduced menu could mean any number of things, uh, uh, Jeremy. It could mean anything from the full traditional seven courses all the way down to six, five, four, <laughs> possibly three. I'm not going to rule out two. And, gun to my head, one. If I were a betting man, though, I'd say anything from three to six. Or seven, not including both. <laughs> no, no, no. See, what I'm trying to ascertain is whether it'll be, if you like, um, the full state banquet or a more token affair reflecting the, the dubious status of Mr Bogana. Uh, you know, what, what will it entail? Oh, well, that's, of course, a very, very complex issue, uh, Jeremy, and very hard to know for sure. A crescent of crisps may well be laid out. <laughs> Dips, dips, very a la mode nowadays. Uh, but regarding the menu, I think it's fair to assume that chicken will play a role there. <laughs> Although whether that be in a coronation or a mini Kiev capacity, I'd be loath to commit. <laughs> I'd also imagine that over the years, the royal banquets have featured beasts of the field. I'm talking beef, I'm talking lamb, I'm talking pork. Or am I? Is that applicable here? Goat, of course. <laughs> Venison, maybe. And naturally, the sausage, maybe, in the guise of a salami. Or just the good old honest straight up and down banger that you and I and so many countless thousands are familiar with. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry to interrupt you. I'm just hearing that our link is back up and we can go over live to our chief political correspondent who's just managed to get across the border into Zapoto and is waiting to speak to us on the satellite phone. Or cheese or bread. I mean, no limit there. Mr. Bagano could quite literally keep coming back for more, couldn't he? Cheese or bread. Paul, I understand you've just experienced some guerrilla fire. A pretty force. <laughs>